Oh wow. And they are blessing us. And I'm seeing these this time white angelic beings kind of bent with their heads bent in prayer. Blessing us with their message. Beautiful. Thank you so much, guys. So I'm going to encourage us just to sit in our hearts, feel what we're feeling. Receive the blessing that's for us, knowing we only receive what is for us. Frequencies of unconditional love. Yeah, you could call them golden frequencies in this moment. Saying yes in the hearts, let's us receive even more of what's for us now. So that was a little teaching on the um, the art of joining and the potential. Mm -hmm. Or shall we say magic working that this has before we've even done anything, gone anywhere, just by coming together, bringing who we are with the intentions we already hold. We're enough. And that is the message from the guides this morning. I'm being shown gold frequencies floating to our hearts now. And seeing our hearts expanded in soft light. I see the angelic beings behind us in a circle of their own. Supporting. It's really beautiful to remember that when we open to receive, we're not receiving from some strange visitors who are dropping by that we don't know. We're receiving from guides of unconditionally loving integrity who honour our consent and free will. Who are enabling us to receive from within. to open gateways to the infinite from within. So while our consciousness is perhaps with the angelic realms here, we've been called directly to, I'm going to invite us, while we sit in our hearts, to also extend awareness downwards, all the way down through the bottom of our feet,
through the bottom of our auras. And to continue on down with our awareness right to the heart and center of the earth. Just be with how we feel in our bodies once we've made that intention. Here we are, lifted up to the angelic realms, resting in our hearts, rooted in the planet. Opening to the softness of the golden frequencies. That are for us. From source. Opening in our hearts. Oh. The image I'm being given is a bit like the sun, where they show photos of the sun's surface. And although with the sun it's, it's fiery and spitting, you get these beautiful arcs of light, a soft luminescence in these arcs of light as matter leaves and returns to the sun's surface or shoots off into the distance. Now imagine that, but soft. Much, much, <laughs> much softer. And that's what they're showing me with this. A soft luminescence and soft arcs of light. And this aliveness of light in the heart. Just be with how we feel. You don't have to accept those images just because they come. Stay with your own truth in this now moment. Maybe begin to notice where in your body, where in your energy field, are you feeling subtle activity now? So without needing to do anything about that, simply noticing this heart light is already acting in us. 
positively helping places that benefit from it. You can just say yes. I allow. Thank you. If that's what feels right for us. You might notice an increase in activity, but what I'm perceiving is that it's a very soft, like a soft blooming of light activity in our fields now. We don't name it or, or pin it down because each of us have a unique alchemy and this light knows where to go. Knows where it's for. I have the sense of it very gently completing its circulation through our systems, working ever so hmm, benevolently for those parts of us where it might need to work a little more, dissolve a little of hmm, tightness or constriction, and carry on along its natural pathway. To return to the heart and pass through all our other centers. For some of us, it would have been busier, the centers, different centers. A bit like a traveler passing through different houses, but only stopping for tea in some of them. One of the available qualities this light is bringing is healing at a physical level. Healing support at a physical level.
Now it is a grace light, so it's asking nothing from us except to say, yes, I allow and thank you. If that feels right for us. Healing is really just allowing things to return to a state of wholeness and harmony. That state is inherent as a potential within all things. And as the most natural state, when all else is out of the way. So healing can be thought of as removing what's in the way of harmony. It can be thought of as reminding those parts of us of the harmony they naturally are and want to return to. Beautiful, and for all of us, I can feel that light completing its soft circuit and returning again to land in the heart. And what they're showing me is the light keeps running, it comes in from source, enters the heart, creates this soft luminescent bloom, this aliveness of light, and then travels through our centres to return again in the heart. They're saying it's a grace light. More than healing, it brings a quality of love and lovingness to us should we choose to accept it. Now, those choices are happening at unconscious levels, but consciously, of course, if we feel to, we can choose to say yes. Yeah. So I'm wanting to call this a Ma light. Ma of the divine archetype within us. Ma of Magdalena consciousness. And of course, naturally, this light lives within us all. So really, we are meeting and greeting a part of us. A part of ourselves. And 
normally this part is part of everything, part of the tapestry we are. But as we focus on it, of course, it gets bigger in our awareness. We notice its qualities. We're not isolating it. It's not happening in isolation. But we are noticing it. as a kind of individuation, sorry. And the message is rest, beloveds, with the flower in your heart now. So, a new hmm, quality of light, a circuit of light traveling through our centers from the heart, from source, from Ma, that will be running with us throughout our days, part of our experience if we let it see. Hmm. If we want to reconnect with this during our day, it can be enough while we're doing other things, just to have a moment's awareness of that soft flower of light in our hearts. Just to take a moment to focus inwardly and notice what we physically feel or what we notice in our energy fields, if we're sensitive in that way. When we hold this image for a moment or two, of that flower of light in the heart. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs>